Hello students. I hope you all are well. I am Nijita Bitja from Saraswati Group of Education. In the previous session, we understood the concept of one and many. That is how to change nouns from singular to plural. And we had also seen different forms of plurals in English. Now, let us solve the exercise related to it. For that, keep your textbook, pencil and eraser with you. Pay attention over here. Listen carefully. And you are supposed to write with me. So, get ready. And let us begin the exercise. In our previous session, as we have understood, the concept of one and many or we can say singular nouns and plural nouns. We know that we can add S to show that there is more than one item. Look at the following pictures. There are some pictures are given. One bird, one pen, one shirt, one book. All these are singular nouns because they are one in number. Right? When we name any one thing, we use the naming word as bird, pen, shirt, book. But when we have to name more than one thing, we need to make a change in the noun. Like birds, pens, shirts, books. So, these items are more than one. So, these are called plural nouns. Most of the nouns forms plural by adding s. Here you can see. Usually nouns take s to form plurals. Penguin, penguins. Birds, bird, birds. Big, pigs. However, not all nouns take s to form plurals. It is not necessary to Add S at the end of the each nouns to make it plurals. For this, there are some rules are given to form the plural of the words. Rule number one is we add ES to form plural of the words that end with S, double S, SH, CH, or X. If a noun ends with Letter or letters that is S, double S, S, H, C, H or X. Then we must have to add E, S at the end of the word. Like bus, buses, class, classes, bush, bushes, bench, benches, box, boxes, fox, foxes. Now, number three. We drop F or FE and add VES to form the plural of the word that ends with F or FE. Okay, as we have understood in our previous session that any of the word ends with letter F or FE. We drop the letter F or FE and add VES. That is wolf, wolves, knife, knives, life, lives, wife, wives. Okay. Now, number four, we draw the Y and add IES to form the plural of the words that end with the Y. Here, we have added one more rule that if a word ends with consonant and y, then drop y and add ies at the end of the word. For example, lily, lilies, cherry, cherries, family, families, berry, berries, lady, ladies. Alright, but if a word ends with vowel and y, 
then just simply add s at the end of the word okay for example boy boys toy toys next number 5 some words completely change to form their plurals they do not follow any spelling rule for example men men here the word m a n men to form its plural then change the word from m a n to m e n okay in the same way foot fit tooth teeth ox oxen child children mouse mice these are the special words that we need to be memorized and some nouns are the same in singular and plural form like dear dear ship ship hair hair there is no change in the spelling now let us come to the question number b2 underline the proper nouns and encircle the common nouns in the following lines now proper nouns are the nouns that a special name given to any of the person place animal and thing and common nouns are the name are the general name of a person place animal and thing the ball point penguins do not think in this line the penguins has given specific name that is ball point penguins so it's a proper noun underline the proper noun that is ball point penguins next they simply write with endless ink here the word ink ink is a common noun ink that we name in general so circle the common noun that is ink ink they write of ice they write of snow here the word ice and snow are the common nouns ice circle the word ice and snow these are the words that we name in general for that is all they seem to know in the last line there is no nouns now let us come to the page number 8 in page number 8 question b3 write the plurals of the following words in the space provided number 1 page the plural of page is pages p a g e s we just have to add s at the end of the word number 2 wife wife is the word that ends with letters f e and according to the rule if the words end with letter f or f e we drop the letter f or f e and add v e s so write down w i and instead of f e we write v e s wife wives number 3 women as we have seen that some nouns change completely so women is the word that change completely to form its plural so we will write w o m e n women number 4 lorry here the word ends with consonant and y so we drop the letter y and we just add i e s so l o r r i e s lorries plural form of lorry is lorries number 5 leaf leaf is the word that ends with letter f 
So we draw the letter F and add V E S. So L E A V E S leaves. Leaf leaves. Now come to the question C1. Gender male and female. Some nouns show the difference between male and female. This is called the difference in gender. Or we can also say gender can be termed as the division of living beings in category of male or female. We know that there are different naming words for female and male living things. For example, a male horse is a stallion and a female horse is a mare. A female child is a daughter and a male child is a son. A female lion is a lioness. The naming word that denotes a male is called masculine gender. Or we can say a male member of a species is a masculine gender noun. Like uncle, king, hero, bull. Yes? The naming word that denotes a female is called a feminine gender. Or we can say a female member of a species is a feminine gender noun. For example, auntie, queen, heroine, cow. Like humans, we can also categorize animals into masculine and feminine gender. Here some examples are given of masculine and feminine gender. Let us go through the examples. Milkman is a masculine gender. Milkmaid is a feminine gender. Prince is a masculine gender. Princess is a feminine gender. Rooster is a masculine gender of cock and hen is a feminine gender. Father is a masculine gender and mother is a feminine gender. Masculine gender of deer is stag and feminine gender of deer is hind. Fox is a masculine gender. Vixen is a feminine gender. God is a masculine or male gender. Goddess is a feminine or a female gender. Colt is a masculine gender of horse. Masculine gender of young horse is called colt. And feminine gender of young horse is filly. Next word is baron. Baron, which means a person who controls a large part of particular business. A superior person such as king. Okay, so baron is a masculine gender and baroness is a feminine gender. Gender is the word that is similar like duck. Okay. So, gander is a masculine gender and goose is a feminine gender. Drake is the masculine or male gender. Duck is a feminine or female gender. Masculine gender of goat is billy. And got is a feminine gender. Ram is a masculine gender of sheep. And you is a feminine gender of sheep.
Lord is a masculine gender and Lady is a feminine gender. We are supposed to memorize all these gender nouns. Now come to the page number 9. Can you write the feminine gender of the following nouns? Okay, so the first word given is grandfather. So the feminine gender of grandfather is grandmother. Write down G R A N D M O T H E R grandmother. Below that the word poet. Poet is a masculine gender and poetess is a feminine gender. Write down poetess. P O E T E double -S, S. Next, landlord. Landlord is the word for masculine gender, and the feminine of landlord is landlady. L A N D L A D Y, landlady. Next, brother is a masculine gender. And sister is a feminine gender. Now, question number C2. Change the gender in the following sentences. Here, in the sentence, we have to change the gender. First, the girl is afraid of cow. Girl is a feminine gender. And the masculine gender of girl is boy. So you can write above the word girl B O Y boy. Underline the word girl and instead of that write down the word B O Y boy. Next boys are playing in the field. Here the word boy is a masculine gender or a male. So here the feminine gender of boy is girls. Write down G I R L S girls are playing in the field. Number three, the governess is an old woman. Here the word governess is a feminine or a female gender. And we have S, we have to change the gender. So, write the masculine gender of governess is governor. G O V E R N O R, governor. Number four, the headmaster is very kind. Here, the headmaster is a masculine or male gender. As we have to change the gender, so the feminine or female gender of headmaster is headmistress. Headmistress. H-E-A-D-M-I-S-T-R-E-S-S. Headmistress. Number five. The farmer has a bull, a ram. And a many hands. Here the word bull is a masculine gender. And feminine gender of bull is cow. Write down C-O-W cow above the word bull or ram. Ram is a masculine gender of sheep. And we need to write a feminine gender of ship is U. E W E. Next, H E N S, hands. Hands is a feminine gender of chicken. And rooster is a masculine gender of chicken. Okay, so write down roosters. R-O-O-S-T-E-R-S. -O -O 
S T E R S. Next question D and question E. Right now we are going to skip these two questions. Now in page number ten, question F. Read the following words aloud. Cob, job. Let us read. The words in the first line are cob, job, cab, cub, tab, nib. Do you observe anything? The word ends with the similar sound that is b. Cob, job, cab, cub, tab, nib. Yes, and two more word. Which we have to add, which ends with the sound b. That is c o m b comb, l a b lab. Next, kid, lid, bid, red, mud, head. Here you can see in all the words ends with the sound. D, D, right? And we have to add more two more words which ends with the sound D. That is fed, bread, fed, which means to give food. Next, leaf, half, if, of, sniff, thief. This all are the words that ends with the sound f. F, right? We need to add two more words that ends with the sound f or f. That is chief, roof, c h i e f, chief, chief, which means a leader. Next. R double O F roof, roof which covers the top of any part of a building. Okay, so here we complete our chapter and the extend part which we are not doing right now. After completion of textual exercise in your C W book. You had already written vocabulary words and question answer of poem one. Now you need to write missing letters. That is, recite verbally penguins, beaks, snow. You need to copy this same as I have done. After missing letters, you need to write. Jumbled letters. There are five jumbled letters. That is black, ballpoint, ice, write, and white. And after that, you have to write gender. That is male and female, as we understood the concept in the textual exercise. I am giving some masculine. And feminine gender forms that you need to learn. There are ten masculine and feminine gender nouns are given. That is, fox is the masculine gender or male gender, and feminine of fox is vixen. Next is peacock. Peacock is the masculine gender, and peahen is a feminine or a female gender. Masculine gender of deer is stag, and feminine gender of deer is hind. Masculine gender of chicken is rooster. And feminine gender of chicken is hen. Masculine gender of young horse is colt. 
and feminine gender of young horse is filly but as given in the textbook male horse is a stallion and female horse is a mare and for young horse male young horse is colt and female young horse is filly next is sheep masculine gender of sheep is ram and feminine gender of sheep is ewe now number 7 gender is a masculine gender and goose is a feminine or female gender drag is a masculine gender and duck is a feminine gender bull is a masculine gender and its feminine gender is cow dog is called a masculine gender and its feminine gender is bitch so this notes you need to copy in your cw book i hope you all have completed the exercise with me if not do not worry complete it within 2 days and the notes that you have to write in your cw book along with this you will get worksheet but this worksheet is very important because it includes all the concepts that we had gone through this poem and it will help you at the time of examination if you are going to take print out of this worksheet then take print out write answers in it and file it safely or you can write this worksheet in your cw book not in rough book while you are writing in your cw book take care that there is no spelling errors and write